Hey, this is Al from Pittsburgh Music Magazine. We're here, here for Battlecross. What's going on? Hey, um, so you guys are heading out with In Flames here pretty soon, huh? Yeah. It's got to be pretty exciting. Yeah, we're definitely excited to go out with those bands. Uh, In Flames, Demon Hunter, All Show Parish. Totally excited to go out with those bands. It's going to be awesome. It's going to really get a good opportunity for us to get out there for uh, new faces and hopefully some old faces, too. So, uh, You've been getting some really good tours uh, this summer. You were out on the uh, Trespass Festival. Um, How does that feel to be like? I mean, you guys are a pretty brand new band, but you're getting picked up on a lot of really big stuff. It's, uh, it's absolutely humbling to uh, be able to go on a big caliber a tour like that and uh, we're very thankful for the guys from Five Finger Death Punch for totally you know taking us on and then giving you know giving us an opportunity like that to go out uh, especially go out with Kill Switch Engage and uh, Trivium and all those guys it was really awesome awesome experience it did really well for us uh, especially here in Pittsburgh we had a great show here uh, at the Stage AE it was awesome man and then that whole summer was just uh, a good t awesome time and uh, a great opportunity for us so thankful and awesome yeah I saw the show it was really good Thanks, man. Yeah, we yeah, had a really good time. Um, so, can you tell us a little bit about um, when you got signed to Metal Blade? Yeah, um, it's kind of a, a year-long process. Um, you know, we basically we we had recorded our album and uh, we started pitching it out to different labels and whatnot, and uh, we didn't hear anything for a while from anybody. You know, we just weren't getting any bite, and uh, so we were just kind of trucking along. We ended up uh, uh, I ended up hitting up Metal Blade and uh, our management at the same time. Was doing the same thing, and finally got a word back from from Kelly from Metal Blade, and uh, we just kind of stayed in touch, and you know, wanted to follow up and see what we were doing. We were, we uh, we actually had self-released our album yeah, on yeah, our own before yeah. Metal Blade because you know at the time, like I said, we weren't getting any bite. We we're like, well, let's just put it out ourselves. Lost our singer, and when when, after, when that happened, Metal Blade kind of contacted us right around that time. So it was like, well, you know, we hit up Kyle uh, Gumby, and uh, he was in another band. We're like, you know. Kind of on the outs with them, you know, they were kind of falling apart at that time, and and um, we were like, dude, you know, Metal Blade's looking at us, and uh, had him come out and re-record three songs of ours with his vocals, and sent that to Metal Blade, and uh, you know, just kind of kept up with them, kept in touch, and we were doing shows and gigging, just trying to stay busy, and and um, our, our management was really, you know, pitching to them what she could do for for Metal Blade, and to you know, she signed her band, what the kind of uh, things that she could do for marketing wise for the label and for us that would you know, really pique interest yeah. with the label and then I guess the final uh, foot in the door was um, uh, Shannon from the Black Dolly Murder uh, heard our stuff you know he was practicing the, they practiced in the same place we did so you know gave him a CD and was like hey man you know just actually check out this recording and and uh, he dug it and uh, he kind of went to Metal Blade as, as a scout and was like these guys are awesome and so uh, it was just a collective like yeah. year long effort of talking and, and working things out and you know finding we sealed the deal and it was awesome man I mean it was just one of those things where it's like this is it man this is our this is our end you know and yeah. the metal blade of all labels to be yeah, a part yeah, of is, is awesome so yeah very uh, very stoked about it so, so you're talking uh, you know talk about Kyle coming in and I think Don kind of came in a little bit later in yeah, the process he was well. uh, he was before Kyle like yeah, he was but, kind of like yeah but well, you had a lot of stuff written before right yeah like, yeah okay. absolutely yeah so you're going into 2013 and, and you're planning on writing and, and starting to get ready for yourself more yep, ab here. absolutely, yeah. Um, actually, after um, our In Flames tour, we're going in the studio, so uh, we should have an album out by uh, by summertime. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. So you've got yeah. a lot of stuff kind of... Yeah, we have a lot of stuff, right? actually, though, after after this, uh, today's our last day of the tour, so okay. after today, it's like, we got to go home and crunch time and finish up writing, because we still have some songs, we got to like, tweak out and work out things, but um, there are songs that are done, and, and uh, we just got to keep writing a little bit more and tweak the process and get things really solid before we're ready to go. So this month of January is going to be like hardcore, like lock ourselves in a room and go. So. Will, you, will you record in Detroit? Or are you... Uh, we're going to be recording uh, outside of Detroit. Can't really say where yet, just because yeah. nothing's solidified yet. Sure, so, sure. But uh, yeah, uh, we're definitely going uh, going somewhere outside of Detroit this time. But uh, uh, nonetheless, you know, we're, our uh, goal is to put out uh, just the best thing that we can put out. You know, and it's it, it's going to be for us just uh, busting ass to make sure that this is the best thing we do, and uh, that's our focus. It's just yeah. to outdo what we did the last, you know, on the first round. So um, one of the things.
things I think the fans, uh, like myself, were really kind of pumped about was the cover of Pantera's Fucking Hostile. Oh, right on. Uh, not only to see live, but you know, obviously when it when it came out, we were able to download it and um, and, and, and hear it. Um, what made you choose that particular song from Pantera? Um, number one, it's just I love that song, and, and Vulgar Display of Power is one of my favorite Pantera albums, and it's such an anthem song. We knew that playing that live, you, that's a really good song to get people pumped up. I mean, Walk is kind of the songs every band does, and you don't want to do that. And um, when we uh, we had actually played that song long before we used to cover it, it was just something that we covered and didn't do it for a while. And actually, our buddy of ours, uh, Johnny uh, Desolation, that. Uh, Broken Toe Studios, we were staying at his house and he's like, I want to, I just want to record a song with you guys. I just want to get you guys in the studio just to do a song. He's like, just do a cover song. We're like, well, we know, we know fucking hostile. Let's just do that. And it just turned out awesome. We're like, oh, well, the, the recording came out so well and we played it live and people dug it and it just worked so well. And it's just like I said, it's a good anthem song and the way we, I think, approached it with our style just worked perfectly. So, uh, last question I'm going to ask you is, um, are there any bands you can turn our, our people into? Uh, you know, kind of tell us some, some people that you're friends with or, or some bands maybe that haven't been really heard of yet that we can kind of look forward to? Absolutely. There's a lot of bands from uh, from Detroit. There's a band called Barry the Silence uh, from Muskegon, Michigan. Um, there's a band from Evansville, Indiana called Deliver Us From Evil. They're really good. Uh, Alex Morgan is a photographer. Well, he's done a lot of some of our photos. And uh, There's a band from Texas called Turbid North. Killer, killer band. Uh, and actually, uh, the band that was on the store but did have to drop off, Abiotic, Abiotic yeah. great band, man. They're awesome dudes. Uh, definitely check those guys out. Very technical, talented musicians. Um, God, there's more bands from Michigan. Uh, there's so many. Imminent Sonic Destruction from Michigan, Writhing. Um, who else? I'm trying to think of some other guys that are. Uh, Wolf Hook, amazing band from Michigan. Uh, we're playing with them on Friday in our hometown when we go home. Uh, total old school metal. Um, you know, there, there's so many good bands uh, from Michigan that I'm so proud to be a part of that scene. There's so many good bands that don't get noticed, and uh, I try to always make it a point to check out the local scene. I go to local shows, and you know, I'm always there just checking out bands. I love music, so uh, anything I can do, you know, to hopefully get those bands' attention, you know, I'll try and do that. But uh, I want to continue to support that, and even bands that we go out on the road and, and play with. You know, there's always bands that we meet. They're awesome dudes, and uh, Actually, the guys from um, uh, yesterday, Saints, they, uh, we played with them in uh, Virginia. Great dudes. Um, singer put us up for the night, and just for two nights, and it was awesome. So, you know, you, you meet cool people on the road and in great bands, and they just take care of you, and it's awesome. It's just like a mutual thing. And, uh, our door is always open in Michigan, you know, for bands coming through. Cool. So, yeah, absolutely. So, well, we're glad to have bands out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you for telling us about the new bands and being here in Pittsburgh, coming to rock us again. Yeah, and, uh, thank you for your time very thank much. Thank you, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Awesome. Thanks. Great.